343 responds to Halo Infinite Battle Royale rumors as well as the original source has been taken down. So what does this actually mean? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel. So let's get right into the content here. So yes, you heard me right. 343 did respond to some of the recent leaks and rumors going around about Halo Infinite. One, talking about the rumored Battle Royale mode coming with it, as well as the rumored 45 versus 45 re-envisioned Asian mode coming to Halo Infinite. But in this video, we're gonna be talking about 343's response to those leaks. So here's the response from 343 themselves. Well, not necessarily the company themselves, more Sketch, but who's the community director, who's basically the voice of 343. Started out his Monday morning with a nice little tweet kind of talking about saying, nothing gets a post-holiday Monday going like a fresh, unfounded Halo Infinite rumors. So when you read that tweet, you're like, well, yeah, the reason why we're talking about so much Halo Infinite leaks and rumors is because that's all we have to talk about right now and sketch recognizes that and says in this tweet saying by the way yes i am aware we could help solve this with real news we certainly have some things we're overdue on and eager to talk about more we're in the process of pulling together for the year end update and if you guys don't know what they're talking about recently there was news on reddit Sketch replied to a comment saying that they're looking to put out a high level update when it comes to the halo infinite what exactly he means by high level, that's really all we can kind of interpret. I'm assuming it's going to be kind of along the same lines of something like we've seen for the announcement trailer for the uh, blog post that came for the reveal of Halo Infinite's gameplay and the Discover Hope update as well. So more high level kind of stuff, just kind of basic ideas of what they're looking to accomplish. I'm not expecting like a huge brand new founded kind of information, probably more details within the coding system, maybe talking about the challenge system since that's a thing now that we know about in Halo Infinite. Maybe some multiplayer stuff. I mean, maybe a screenshot of a map or something, but that's probably the most I'm hoping for. But as soon as that information does come out, I will be making a video on this channel to keep you guys up to date with everything going on. Now you're probably thinking, yeah, 343 would shoot down those leaks and rumors because, well, they're not doing a battle rifle, right? The famous quote of the only BR we're concerned about is the battle rifle. I feel like it's a very dated comment because first of all, it was back in 2018. It was during a community stream playing, I think Halo 5. It's from Jeff Easterling, who is amazing, I'm sure very well known about what's going on within 343 and Halo Infinite, but he's more on the side of like story creation within the Halo universe. He doesn't have direct ties to working with the multiplayer, so things could definitely change. Plus there is this interview with Bonnie Ross, who definitely you know, gave a glowing review to Respawn and their work with Apex Legends, saying that he really likes what they did with Apex Legends. I think that um, Vince and team did a great job with Apex Legends, and you could see much more like, hey, you could do this with Halo. You know what I mean? Like, I think some of the things that they've done with Apex, like, they kind of, for us, kind of feels a bit more like Halo. Whatever we do needs to be the right thing for Halo. Sure. And so whether or not you call the Battle Royale or how we're thinking about things going forward, the team definitely thinks about this needs to be right for Halo. We've got our arena. How are you looking at our bigger um, play? So it's, it's always an active conversation, but um, not <laughs> saying anything more about it. Well, right I mean, you know, hey, you got to And I do think it. that Apex Legends, they've done a great job. It's super fun. So that BR we're only concerned about is the Battle Rifle comment. It's really just more like an offhanded thing from one person within 343, not like in an official statement. So I feel like that you're, if you're holding on to that statement from 2018, feel like you're more just trying to convince yourself that you're right. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna be honest on that one. Uh, though, of course, this doesn't mean that Halo Infinite will have a Battle Royale. I hope it does. I think ultimately the best way would be to release it like six months after the initial release to get some more hype back into Halo Infinite. And plus, it would get people talking about Halo again. Charlie Intel, who's a very well-known platform for Call of Duty news, cited saying that Activision said that Warzone for Call of Duty, their Battle Royale mode is actually more effective in marketing Call of Duty than actual marketing. Can we bring that to Halo Infinite? I think so. And it sounds like 343 was correct on these leaks as they've been actually founded now as 100% fabricated. These leaks of the Battle Royale that they're talking about, the 45 versus 45 mode, uh, releasing chapters in the Team Osiris spin-off game, uh, 
all fake. And on this Reddit post, the leaker comes out and says, yeah, it was, you know, fake. Like the 45 versus 5 invasion mode, the uh, Halo Infinite Battle Royale, as well as two spin-off games, Halo Wars 3, and a spin-off story of Halo Team Osiris and things like that, all created basically because it's just like a social experiment. <laughs> they wanted to kind of see if they can, uh, you know, get some kind of traction when it comes to this, because they said that uh, gaming leaks and rumors reached out to this person saying, hey, if you have any information about Halo Infinite, feel free to share it. And well, he was like, well, let's have some fun. So we do know that there are some kind of form of a spinoff or another project coming for Halo. Uh, they had a job posting on Microsoft's website right here for a senior producer. And basically the intro statement here saying 343 Industries is looking for a senior producer to work with our core service team to help develop a new project in the Halo universe. Now, new project or service team makes me think of some form of a spin-off game or another or something along those lines, maybe a Halo Wars 3, like you mentioned, of course, that was part of the leaks that were faked. But I mean, Halo Wars 2 was rather well received. And I could totally see a third one happening. And I would be kind of would expect to see some more Halo titles coming out as well, not just Halo Infinite, and that's it. So that leak of spinoff titles is fake, though the new projects within the Halo universe is actually happening. Now, I know I did report on some of this stuff previously, and I did state that these are leaks. I never believe I stated it as true. And if I did, I apologize if I gave that impression. I view covering leaks more as just like a fun discussion topic and something to talk about Halo Infinite, if that's something that could be a possibility rather than actual factual evidence. And honestly, I appreciate the leaker coming out here saying like, hey, this is actually just all fabricated. I just wanted to see if I can get something trending, you know, and I guess, uh, you know, their experiment worked out. You know, they got some traction. You know, we made some videos. They even mentioned some of the Halo News people out in the community, including myself, about uh, who covered this kind of topic. And like I said, I view it more as just kind of discussion topics rather than actual factual evidence. And I think calling it as a leak initially means that it's not something that's actually factually true it's more just kind of like hey this is what's kind of going around and i want to share it with you guys so you can stay up to date with not only what's actually happening but what's kind of the rumor mill of things going around but there actually is some more sketch talks about on twitter and kind of just goes over exactly how we're all feeling right now when it comes to Halo Infinite. As an avid fan of many properties, games, movies, TVs, music, I 100% understand and appreciate the passion the Halo community has. I also understand the frustration when things don't go the way you want or it feels like you're somehow being wronged or not heard. I just want to first acknowledge how fortunate we are to have such a legacy and such a long-standing community that cares so much. It's not easy, but I'd rather have people care and even be mad than not give a damn. Thank you. The Infinite Road hasn't been easy. This year in particular has been incredibly challenging. We have hundreds of developers who truly only want to make the best Halo game they could possibly can. It pains all of us when the community is hurting. No update is going to satisfy everyone. We want to turn the corner as 2020 comes to an end and leave the challenges of this year behind us and look ahead to 2021. We are committed to bringing you along on this journey. We just ask for a bit of patience and understanding. And then Sketch right here, I think does a good job of just kind of putting everything in perspective and communicating well to the community. Well, being also, you know, understanding, but also rather, you know, factual, I guess is a way to kind of put it of saying like, hey, this is kind of where we are right now. Talking about how he's actually glad that people sometimes get so mad about the Halo because we care so much. We love this game that there's no other game like Halo. This is the reason why I make a YouTube channel dedicated to this game because it's like the best game in my opinion out there. No other game out there for the mainstream does things like campaign, multiplayer, creation like Forge, and community features, custom games, and things like that so well within one single game. Halo is truly a total package of a first-person shooter. And since it's had about 20 years of development on the franchise as a whole, the game has grown so large that it takes a long time to make a Halo game. 
And I do believe that Sketch is correct here, saying that there are hundreds of developers that only want to make the best Halo game possible. I truly believe that. I've had a chance to meet some of these people, and they're genuine fans of the franchise. I want to do something really special for everybody. And at the end, he does talk about just needing a little bit more patience. I mean, we've been pretty patient uh, for the most part uh, for the, throughout 2020 and really honestly since 2018, really. I think right now you're seeing the patience being worn out pretty thin. I feel like the community is kind of getting stretched to its breaking point almost of when we're going to have like a big revolt almost. of just like, hey, just show us something, you know? And yes, it's totally understandable. COVID became a big issue. The issues of just making such a large game is really tough, especially only doing it on truly a three year cycle with also reworking an entirely new engine. This is tr this game truly is the biggest and most ambitious Halo game ever. Usually those are just like, you know, industry terms that get people excited about the game, but they really do mean it with Halo Infinite. This game is going to be a turning point within the franchise. But I guess we just have to wait a little bit longer until we get that high level update coming in a few weeks for us guys. Again, I guess I'll make a video on this channel. It sounds like they're kind of looking to restart the entire hype machine, the hype train going again, beginning of next year. So let me know in the comment section down below guys, what do you feel about the rumors being shot down by 343? Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about a battle royale coming in Halo Infinite. So thanks so much for watching and greatly appreciate it. Check out the videos on the screen right here if you missed anything from me recently. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.